if there's no dark. And this is what I want to show you here. I will make a little sunset. Sunset on the black canvas. That's funny, isn't it? <clears throat> I put a little crimson over the whole canvas. Over the whole canvas. See, on the dark, it looks dark. It looks really dark. If I had to paint it on the white as a sample, I would show you if I paint on the white canvas, you see, it looks kind of a red, it's still red, isn't it? But on the black canvas, nothing. That's what I want to show. Black, dark, dark, keep it dark. See, no, that is what it makes. That's what the idea is about black, a black canvas. So, we just, the same, like we do magic white, we put alizen, uh, alizen crimson on it now. And we will use that alizen crimson for all the things we want to show. Make sure you have it nice, and don't thin it down. Please don't thin it down. Leave it thick and strong. Then if it is thin, you start slipping. You start, uh, it, it wouldn't uh, break on you. It, you can make details. Leave it thick and strong. I remember a time I thought it is so hard to get it on by not thinning it down. And I thinned it down and I had to draw the canvas away because it just wouldn't do it. It just will not do it. But otherwise, keep it thick and strong. Powerful. Nice to be on the outside because uh, it's more, you, get more ins you get more inspired when you feel the wind, when you hear the birds, and when you... Uh, and right now, it's a time where the sun will set, maybe in an hour or two, we will, the sun will set. See, I go over like this now. I got it all filled with, with paint. Make sure you horizontal, vertical again, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, couple times. Make sure you make it so nice and even. You feel sometimes the spots where you are not right in. See, do it again, and then you got it nice and even. See, oh, that's nice. Now I feel it already. It goes very, very easy. Good, good. Uh, we plan a sunset, we plan a sunset. Let, let me just draw it in roughly what, what we want to show. I use yellow. You see, yellow or a touch of white if you want. You can use easy white now. You don't have to worry too much because that color underneath will always watch. It's just a touch. I would say the sun is here. There's the sun. But you see what happened to the sun? See what happened to the colors? Because having, having the red the, the Alizin crimson colors on there, everything will turn red. You see, now there is already the beginning of a sunset. You know, you can create movements, you can create movements, and maybe we make it very, let it go out in dark, see, and make, put the nice, happy little uh, line, maybe that's where the sun sets over the water. See? So make yourself a nice line there, that you get the feeling. And leave it light in the middle and leave it darker, darker, darker out there. See, now you can just, just look. Just dream in your sunset. Can you see how easy it is now? Because the colors come out automatically now. <clears throat> See, now you can create that there are clouds and the sun hits the clouds here and there. Just do a little long, do a little long. Which why you thank the, the sun, see? And let it get darker there, darker there, darker there. But just, you have a cloudy sky and openings and but this way, it's, it's a beautiful way of expressing yourself. Da, 
sun magic, you don't have to use always the white canvas. <clears throat> I try all kinds of things, and I'm anxious to, to learn. We always can learn something new. <clears throat> see, now, if you want, just try it out and see how it will work, if you go like this. Can you see the, the power of a dark canvas? Already you put all the, the sun beams in, you can pull them back, but aim always back to the, to the sun. See, like sun rays, sun rays. And now you, 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 <coughs> you, 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 you. You can use more yellow. You can use more yellow. See here. And that's where the sun is the best. That's where the sun is the best. And let it, see, this is the power, that the power of this particular painting, you have it all dark and all of a sudden that, that's like a fist in the canvas. It's just beautiful, it's just wonderful. See, now again, power it up, power it up. I will use red, red and yellow, just red and yellow, red and yellow, and make myself a nice little, uh, like uh, orange color. And let's see how that burns. More red, I want to have more red all around now. More red, more red all around there. More red around there. Can you see, like a burning, like a flame, like fire, like an atom blast is far away. And you only can get it with this idea here. Clean color, a clean color, <clears throat> clean color red and yellow, and now I bring out the best there. Hey. So, now you can, different ways of thinking, you can have it just running right along there, See? Isn't that beautiful? Creative power, our mighty power. You know, I feel so happy when I, I can create with so much energy, with so much uh, power, that it does something to me. I think every human being needs that. Now, let's see, bring up a bit more bit more, and maybe right in the center, we give them a bit more. See? Oh, I will use my knife, and I will mix white, white and yellow, and try to find the most brightest sun. It just setting over the horizon, and you see just a little bit of the sun there. Can you see in that dark, all of a sudden that light is so bright? That was the idea. You know, man has not made a paint but captures sunlight or daylight. That is not possible. We have only 24% of light in our paint. That means it is nothing. 
by having a black canvas, we, we create the illusion, an optic illusion. The uh, light on light is nothing and nothing is nothing. But have it dark, dark, dark. And that little bit of light that hits your eyes. See, that is really what we are doing here. We create the optic illusion. And that is what makes that painting so different and, and powerful. It's good for you to know the idea. I teach so much. I'm on TV already for 12 years. And I always think, show something new. Show something new. Because the new ideas can make you richer. And I wish I could help you uh, with, with ideas because I have painted all my life. And I should know it already up to now. See? Now, look, let's, let's go over. Oh, I need a clean brush now. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. <clears throat> See? And now you make water out of that. Isn't that beautiful? You can overdo it. You can go overboard. But this is nice. This is so nice. See? And if you want, you can, you can, oh, wait a minute. You could, if you want some time, you can run a little bit of, 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 of extra sunbeam somewhere. See, if you want, you can run a little bit of extra sunbeam a bit stronger. Uh, it's dangerous, but it's good if you could do it. See, that makes that painting a bit more, more powerful. It gives you that little extra power. <coughs> now, use, use, see, water is the best leader of light. It leads full blast from the top to the bottom. Uh, earth or uh, any dull stuff will lead, the power is close to the light, but it gets it fades, but in the sunshine here, here you can easy watch this. See, you can easy uh, lead it full blast, full blast. The same, the same light in here should be in the water there. See. That is a very dramatic painting, very powerful. But it's good, it's good to show it. You might get something out of that. You might create your own, your own ideas now. There's so many things. See, there's, it's, it's endless. Painting is endless. You can always create your own version of doing things. And as more I always saw, as more I would learn, then I will create right here, like this is the shoreline all of a sudden here. And, and even in the sand, even in the sand, the, in the sand, uh, the sun is burning in the sand, and off, off the sand, it gets darker. You see, here you get it darker already. Can you see it? Let it burn in the, in the sand too. Use your big brush now and give a couple light pulls, but straight, not crooked. I did crooked. I showed you how you shouldn't do it. Straighten it out. See? What a powerful painting. Again, mold it in, mold it into the sand. Mold it into the sand. See, mold it into the sand. That's what burns. And movements, movements, sand movements. That's the shoreline there, and there's the shoreline going on there. And, so, and then let it get darker. Let it get darker as you go off.
see? And that just got darker as you go off. See, you can use your big brush now and pull it sideways. But pull it together, that, that the power is always for the sun is in there. This, 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 you have to really make very, very powerful. Again, I use yellow, see, and touch of white. Aim for the same color in the sun. Same powerful color in the sun. And now I fire in again. Mold it in there. In the, in, the, in the land, and the rest, make it darker, 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 and let it disappear, and don't let it bother you. See, that is nice, that's nice. Now we will, we will, we will get the happy little water lines in there. Happy little water lines. That's a good teacher. That's a good teacher. See? Now, you know, you can't help and you see that. You would think it wouldn't be nice if you had the sailboat and you would sail along there. And all of a sudden, I get that feeling I should really have a sail there in the sailboat. So we fire in the sailboat. And just here, the sailboat, is, the wind is coming. OK, let the wind come from this side. And that boat is just floating this way here, floating off, see? And now that boat has a big sail, it has a big sail, and, oh, I would say this way. See? With a couple little, little strokes, you create yourself a beautiful sail. <clears throat> you just make sure you have the idea where the wind is coming from, and then you fire in, and fire it right into the water there, too. See, like this. And then you just dress it up a little bit, as you can see a part of that sailboat there, because the sun will lie on top. See, maybe here in front it will show you a little bit of, <clears throat> little bit of, see, the sun will hit there a little bit and it reflects like that, you see, there you are. See, maybe here in the back you show roughly, and then you show in the back, See, it is so dark, you show the water movements, where the water is, the wind is blowing it this way, that means that uh, <clears throat> the water moves this way. See? Then you can set in some people if you want. You can, oh, see? can set in some people. Here's a little head there, a little shoulder there. See how you make it? Beautiful. Maybe act a little bit red in there. Use some colors there because uh, makes it nice. Maybe a touch of white would do good there on the side. See? Maybe other one here. Other one here. Maybe this way. 
you stretch out that way. You, you just uh, dance around with whatever colors. Light and shadow. Work with light and shadow. See, there you are. Put it in there too. All of a sudden you have already two people. Whatever you want, you can go on and on. Uh, put a bit of red in there, and with red in there. And red. See, see, this creates kind of an illusion. There's someone sitting there and, and reflects them right into the water. Reflects them right into the water, too. See? Is she or isn't she? See, that's the whole idea. This makes it so this becomes a painting. See, and then, then let's the kind of a, a oh, mass stick out there. Now, here's a question. If you have a flag up there and the boat goes this way, which way will the flag fly? That's always a question I like to talk when, when you paint that kind of a thing. Uh, the flag will always fly with the wind. Wind was this fine, the flag will automatically go with the wind. Usually, when you think a train is going that way, the speed of a train is faster than the wind. It is not. The wind is usually faster if there is wind. Uh, and this time, I put the flag up there. Oh, we give him a happy, happy blue flag. Happy bluish flag in the evening. See, it's this going with the wind. It's breathing off with the wind. See, try to get a bit colors in there. And all of a sudden, see, they did this colors. They, they make this is a kind of a illusion there. Fire it in there, fire it in there, fire it in there. And then all of a sudden, you feel there are people sitting there. <clears throat> see, now I use my big brush. Clean your brush. into the rattle box. We fire it off like this and make water out of that. See? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Now you extend a little bit your, your, uh, oh, your water lines there. See? Like this one, extend it right through there. See? Maybe a bit more. But that gives you a kind of a little bit of an abstract, but it is beautiful. It has a has a meaning. See, for a boat is usually their movements. You have to make it a bit wild there. See, you have to make it a bit wild there. The, usually when the boat floats, that whole water is always moving <clears throat> up and down, and you move it. See, something like that. And maybe here we give them just a little bit of a horizon, horizon line <clears throat> there. And maybe I give them a couple more sunbeams if I could couple more sunbeams if I could. Yeah, that, that's it, that's it. That's always dangerous to make really nice, uh, nice long, long sunbeams. That looks so much better. See? There you are. And it grows and grows and grows and grows. You can act like the water has a little bit of sunbeams here and there. See? Push it a bit sideways, but don't lose it completely. Just show a little bit of that. Now all the all the movements sideways. See? Like this. 
like this. Like this, you see? Now we come to a happy ending. And can you see how fast you can produce a painting in this, this, this caliber? And I bet you if that is in the frame, it has so much power. It is a powerful, powerful painting. I like to have a little bit in that, in that valley there, a little bit more sunshine in, in the curve. See, where the curve comes out the best, you see? Try to add a little bit of sunshine there. And that other rim up there. So. See, now we have all the movement we should have. And I tell you, I feel we should not do too much. Uh, we call it finish. Did you enjoy it? A different type of a painting, very powerful and effective. Thank you for watching me. W. Alexander Magic Art Supply Incorporated is offering a transcript of today's program, including full instructions and a full-color reproduction of today's painting. Send $3 to The Art of William Alexander, Post Office Box 17369, Salem, Oregon, 97305. Please indicate the number of the painting shown on the screen to ensure that you receive the proper instructions. Hi, I'm Jeff Smith, and I'm in the midst of the best cooks I know. We're all together for you regularly on WGBH Boston. I propose...